So I just wanted to give you a quick update on, on my three kilos uh, gram pedri. All right, um, three kilos, three kilos are working from ball bearing spools. And also another three kilo here. They're all actually different nozzle sizes. This one's 0.8 millimeter brass nozzle. This is 0.6 Bontex EHC. This is just stock 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So I just want to talk about uh, the using three kilo kilogram TPU. Now because it's so much heavier, there is a when you first started, there's very little drag nail. But uh, this is a brand new roll. You can see there's actually a little, a lot more pull. I'll have to actually really pull on this. So I noticed that I have to actually slow down um, the maximum volumetric rate when the spool is just starting. Uh, as soon as it's it's a little off like that, it, it rolls really easy, but uh, then you can go ahead and raise the volumetric rate. But I find that uh, when it's full of spool, it just, there's more resistance. So you have to really slow down until you use up some of the three kilos uh, of the filament. Right now, with that said, um, once once you sort of take off, it, it works good. And also, another thing, I was using uh, TPU filament out of the box without drying, and that also affects how it rolls. Uh, even though it's pretty dry, I guess some of the moisture, I don't know, it sort of it sort of limits how it's it's unrolled. Um, so it seems like to me, if you dry it all the way, this one I dried. Uh, over 24 hours in a, uh, one of those food dehydrators it seems like they work a lot better I mean obviously you should dry your stuff anyway but they're printing really good at the moment uh, very precise um, working really well with the new mount so this this is actually the way I would suggest because you have a very short filament path <coughs> and you have, as long as you have ball bearings and they all unroll really well. Um, so as far as speed, uh, since I'm using 0.8 millimeter nozzle, I don't really have to go that fast. Um, although I was going a lot faster with the smaller spools, just because there's less resistance. But I think I can I can step it up a little bit further. Um, but still testing a lot of stuff here. Uh, really love the three kilo spools. Because now I can make these large objects and not have to worry about changing the filament. Uh, especially when I'm running out of filament, especially bigger projects. You don't want to be coming back and do it. So I can finish projects. I can finish multiple, maybe one reel could last me like five or six prints before I have to even worry about changing. So I really like the three kilos and also cheaper to buy in bulk like this. I bought, I bought a, t a ton, literally a ton to get really good prices. So TPU, I only pay like maybe eight dollars per spool uh, for one kilo. So actually, was that twenty dollars? Yeah, around twenty dollars per one of these spools. So it's a really good deal. Otherwise, I would pay way more for for the same amount. Uh, but looking really well. If you guys wanted to print large objects with the Perusa or any other printer, uh, you might be better off with three kilos. But again, you'll have to have some kind of ball bearing spool. Um, because it's a lot heavier and yeah the filament path can be very important anyway have a great day